Tixi stock is on the move in this regular session of today, the 1st of November. At some point, the game was around 23%, but it has uh, given up much of those gains. It's now, as you can see, fluctuating between 11% and 9% or thereabouts. Uh, we haven't seen any news behind this uh, huge rally. Uh, obviously, P Pixie is, uh, is has a very tiny float and also have it has a very small market cap. So we might be seeing a manipulation here, pump, pump it all the way towards uh, 6.95, 6.9, 6.96, 6 dollars, and it's now down to 5.8 dollars. Uh, um, so something might be going on there. I mean, the news hasn't filtered through. Uh, 1.57 million shares have crossed the tapes. Yesterday there was also a spike in volume as well. So if you come to that starts the twenty three percent I'm talking about, you know, obviously range. That. So if it's twenty three percent here at six point four six, and we saw that there on the on the one minute chart six point nine six, so the gain was definitely more than twenty three percent. So this is the one minute chart for the stock. It's just been pivoting now, and we have um, projections. Um, it's been projected that it's going to. Uh, this is one minute, the more mini charts going to um, strengthen all the way towards a 6.81. There's no guarantee that's going to happen. And uh, on this one minute chart, there are projections all the way towards a 7. Point, um, 7. Point, 7. $7.4 dollars. We have um, 6.95. We have, have uh, 6.8. We also have uh, 6.68. We have um, 6.6 .6, all the way down to. 6.5.8 just that broke through be, broke below broke through that and it has rebounded above that now okay so this is the one minute chart so let's see yeah let's have a look at the maybe 15 minute chart and see what we have there um, weakness is projected on the 15 minute chart weakness all the way and we have projections all the way towards uh 9.21 okay let's have a look at the 45 minute chart and see anything beyond this might not look very interesting at all okay so projections we have here are uh, is uh, up the way towards at 10.59 below that is uh, 8.46 below that is um, uh, 7.78 7.78 so currently now it's just resting slightly above uh, 5.88 which is where it is right now so and um, we have uh, pre a Fibonacci projection sorry a 10 period projection on this for five minute chart for the stock at uh, 6.03 dollars and then we have another projection above that of uh, 6.33 so we, we can actually do something about this we can see uh okay there are there's other, other projections okay we can there's this projection here of um 6.87 on this chart 6.87 that's a 10 period uh projection 10 period 10 period moving average projection and then there is uh, a projection of 7.17 so we can use these two figures 7.17 and then there's down here it's um, it's standard deviation 10 period 20 period standard deviation okay let's get a 10 period standard deviation let's get it and uh, maybe use that and find uh, the probability let's make this 10 So let's get the standard deviation here. Standard deviation we have is uh, 0 0.4465, 0 0.4465. With these, we might be able to determine a probability that it will get to 7.17. Um, where would I say maybe anytime soon? Anytime soon, 7.17. Just as as anytime soon in the, in the very short term, maybe. In very very short time, so just let's just leave it that way, you know. So, um, with that, we we'll see we'll see what we can get. So, um, we we'll have seven point one seven minus um, six point eight seven. We have zero point three divided by zero point uh, four four six five. We have a zero point six seven one eight. So. With that, we come to the Z table and we might be able to find what the probability is 6.6771. 6, so approximately 0 0.67. So this will be 
this is, this is where it is 0 0.67 so send 4.86 and 4.86 is the probability that he will get to um, probability that it will get to 7.17 at some point well yeah if you look at that you know this is a 45 minute chart it's you know it's something that can happen you know about the time they, there's a technical reason why that is why that is the case you know we have uh, we picked we picked um, we picked a projection of uh, 7.17 and then we also picked a 10 day moving average that is not far off and also we have standard deviation that is also not far off from the difference between the projection of 7.17 and the 10 period moving average of uh, 6 of uh, 6.87 so you know we are trading we are trying to find the probabilities in a very narrow band so you will get uh, a very high probability that something can occur you know so um, yeah it, you will get that sort of probability you know um, th that is also the case if you look at uh, what's going on right now the stock itself um, currently is trading at um, 5.7 dollars okay if we do that we might be able to get uh, let's see what we're going to get so 5.7 dollars minus uh, what probability are we going to what um, moving average are we going to use okay we also have we have a moving average just slightly above where it is right now a projected moving average of 5.95 okay 5.95 and then we use the same moving up um, standard deviation of 0 0.4465 okay we do the maths again we do the sums or the maths we, we 5.7 minus um, 5.95 we have uh, negative 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.4465 we have uh, negative 0 0.55991 uh, so we, it's going to be approximately 0, negative 0 0.56 we come to the z table again negative 0 0.56 that's it here okay so we can we can you can see what I'm what I'm talking about we also have another probability of a 71 point 71.23 percent the probability that it will it will be it would get high actually that's the probability that's what our probability is the, prob the probability that it will get higher than 5.7 dollars um, yeah it, that has actually happened it's already gone beyond that it has already gone beyond 5.7 so um, maybe it's just goes to reinforce the maybe a theory that if they are all if you are you know trying to find the probability of something happening between in a very tight range when volatility is high yes it can the probability of getting something above where you are is likely you know uh, yeah that's just uh, a reinforcement of that so that we have actually printed beyond 5.7 so um, you know it's quite volatile and on the stock right now so we haven't found any news there's no news out here you haven't found any news so see what you make of um pixie pixy stock and i'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video